Hi everyone, I'm back and I finished cutting out all my cards and what I did next was to arrange them all in um, lines and we're going to play a memory game. So this is something you can play with uh, someone at your house. You can either put the cards face down or you can put them face up. And so the first thing you do is turn one over and look at the picture and see if you can read the word. That we can read this one phonetically. K -a -n. Can. Can. There's one. Let me see if I can find the match. Remember, there's two of each of these, so there should be another can in here somewhere. Oh, I got paper. Paper. So why would we have these two pictures on Earth Day? Well, cans and paper are both things that can be recycled. And when we recycle something, instead of throwing it in the trash, it gets made into new things rather than put in a landfill. So that is a good thing for the Earth. So I'm going to turn these back over, try to remember that that's paper and this is a can. And we can take another turn. If you're playing with someone else, then you would let them have a turn next. This one says plastic. Plastic, that's a plastic bottle. We can we use plastic bottles for drinks and water sometimes. This one says together. Has two little people holding the earth. So a this is not a match, but we can say that a plastic bottle um, oftentimes gets recycled, but a lot of times it doesn't. So when we're able to use a reusable water bottle, that helps the earth. The so plastic is convenient, but it's not good for the earth. So we have to use it um, with care and try to use other things when we can. And with this one, it can tell us that we can work together to care for our earth. So let's see if we can find a match. Mm, this one says air. I'm going to try over here. <gasps> Plant. Air is something that we need to breathe. It's all around us, but we have to keep it clean by not putting pollution into the air. And plants are what help us to live because not only do they provide food, but they also help our air be clean. Oh my gosh, so many things to learn about. Let's see what this one says. Oh, Earth, there's a beautiful picture of our planet Earth. Let's see if I can find the other Earth. Hmm. Reuse. Reuse is part of reduce, reuse, recycle. When we can reuse things instead of throwing them away, that's good for the earth. Will I ever find a match? <gasps> reduce, reduce, and that's a little light switch. When we can reduce the amount of electricity and other things that we use, it helps the earth. Let's see if I can find the other reduce. But I did find that. Can. I remember, put that one over, there was a can somewhere around here. Where was it? Oh my gosh, I think it was somewhere around here. Oh, there's the seeds. I'm going to try to find that can. I found it! I made a match two cans. And I know that when I use a can, I'm going to put it in the recycling. All right. So you can play this game however you want. That's one way to play it. Another way is to turn all of them over and just try to find the matches when, the, when they're uh, turned over. Or you can, once you turn one over, you can leave it over to make it a little easier to find your match. Oh, there's plant. 
plastic. There are lots of different ways to play this game. Um, but I would challenge you that as you're playing, you talk about all the things on the cards because they're all important Earth Day words that can help you learn more about caring for the Earth. Let's see what else I've got here. I'm try to find one more match. There it is. You can keep these and play with them for as long as you like. And guess what? When you feel like you're done with these, they can be recycled too. You don't have to throw them away. That way they won't go into the landfill. Have fun with your Earth Day cards and have fun celebrating Earth Day. I'm going to sit outside for a little while to celebrate Earth Day because it's one of my favorite places to be. Thank you. Have a great day.